Hello, Tom Brown here, and today we're going to look at some basic physics. In a previous video, we had explored the role that kinetic energy uh, plays in your techniques, and we're going to go back to that. Now, you might recall uh, kinetic energy is equal to one half the mass times the speed squared. And our ultimate aim here is to maximize our overall energy. If we can bring more energy into our movements, then our movements have the greater uh, capacity to cause damage. So uh, ultimately we want to maximize our energy. And in a prior video we discussed how critical a role speed plays in this overall process. See, because if you can double your speed, you would quadruple your energy. Now if you double your mass, you can double the energy. And today that's actually what we're, what we're going to look at. We're going to explore a little bit. How can we maximize our mass? How can we, because our ultimate goal here is to maximize the mass that we bring into motion because it's mass in motion that can cause damage. And just to drive that point home, I have a two and a half pound weight. It's not that heavy, obviously. We could lay this on you and, and it wouldn't cause any damage. But if we were to drop this weight, you can hear the effect. Now, what if we would double the mass? Well, we could double the effect. And again, uh, our goal now is to maximize the effective mass that we bring into motion. And although we could gain mass, we could actually, um, you know, put, actually put on mass, but I'm not talking about going to a buffet and, and working on gaining weight in that manner, but you could certainly train, you could work to develop muscle mass, and that could have a positive effect. What you want to be careful with is you don't want to gain mass at the cost of speed. If you find yourself in a position where you've put on mass and now you're reducing your speed, you might want to question your training. But in general, uh, gaining mass is not necessarily, in particular muscle mass, is not necessarily going to be a bad thing. But the mass we're going to look at today is something we call um, effective mass. You see, because very often when you're performing a movement, it's, say you're throwing a punch or a strike, it's the isolated mass of your arm that you're bringing into the technique. And there's ways that we can maximize the effective mass, bring more of our, our body behind the technique. And I'm going to show you one such way today. I have Moses here to help out. and We're going to look at a basic technique. So let's go join Moses. And we're going to explore uh, a very important technique in our system, one that we come back to often, shielding hammer, which is a left roundhouse punch defense followed by a hammer strike. And then we have to close the distance because I can't reach him for my elbow strike. But that movement is more than just closing the distance, and that's what we're going to explore. See, uh, if he throws his punch, again, we could just focus on the isolated movement of our limbs here, and that could be the, you know, the mass behind our, our, uh, just our arm that's generating power, but that's not going to be as effective. Now, if you look at this technique, the way I heard one grandmaster describe this elbow strike, if you look at it like the bumper of a car, because when a car... Uh, collides with an object, they can cause incredible damage. And very often it's the bumper that collides first. Now, is it the bumper that's causing the damage? No, it's, it's all the mass that's behind the bumper. So that's what we want to do. Let's bring more mass behind our elbow strike. And the way we're going to do that is instead of stepping with our front leg and dragging our mass, dragging our body behind, we're going to push with our back leg. So instead of a step drag, we're going to do what we call a push drag. I'm going to push off my back heel. I'm, I'm going to project my center of mass forward so that that's the driving force behind the technique. So now we have our hammer strike. I continue around. I collapse the elbow. I drive off my back leg and I'm launching, you can see, my body into the technique. And one other tip I'll give you here is pay attention to the timing. As I project, you'll notice that I'm landing as the elbow collides with my opponent because that's going to give me stability. So that if I'm striking... Uh, a much bigger opponent. If I'm striking, I'm not going to collide and, and bounce off. I need to root myself mm. on impact so that that energy absorbs more into my opponent rather than uh, causing me to just bounce off of him. So there's a couple of tips. There's just one method to get you started with because there's actually several actions that you can perform within this technique to maximize the overall effective mass. But like I said, that's enough to get you started. I hope you guys enjoyed that tip and we'll see you soon with another one. Take care.